So in this video, I'm going to share complete data science interview preparation. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Utsav and I'm a senior data scientist at Oracle. I have worked with TCS and initially for two and a half years. Then I switched to Samsung as a machine learning engineer. And there on, I, I worked for one, uh, around one and a half years. And then I switched to Oracle as a senior data scientist. So in this video, I'm going to share complete data science interview preparation. So if you're someone who are willing to make career in data science, or you're a fresher or you're already a professional working in a different field and you want to get into a data science role then this series of videos is for you so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it because i keep posting data science content that will help you grow in your career and your knowledge so let's get back to this series so in this series we'll have a total of nine videos including this one and each video will hold one topic so first one is the strategies so strategy is a very important part where you decide the plan of action because if you haven't decided what you're going to do then how are you going to do it so whether you are a fresher you are a professional or an experience in some other domain and you want to come switch to a data science domain your plan of action must be clear so the first video will be about the strategy and i will tell you how to build a good strategy so that you get more calls you have better networking right and getting a job becomes comparatively easier as compared to the ones who don't have any strategy now the second important part will be coding so what happens in coding right if you are going for a data science role how much programming do you want how much data structures do you need to know to crack a data science interview role so all these things we are going to cover in the second video about the coding part because if you talk about good companies right they will take the first or second round coding round why because they want at least some basic level competence of coding because ultimately whatever you will be doing for data science you will be coding that right whatever approach is yours so they want you to be a good coder not the best but at least you should code well so in the second video i'll discuss about all the things that you should be knowing about the coding now the third thing is about the project and the domains so what are those projects that keeps you apart or if you have some projects already then what can you do in those projects to make them extraordinary that like that really stands you apart right so that we'll be covering in the third video about the project and the domain part is that because in data science is a very wide field so if you take banking insurance e-commerce healthcare these are different different domains of data science right so which are the domains that you can target for which industry so all these things i'm gonna be talking about in this video so the fourth video is about resume and portfolio so if you have a good resume and good portfolio so the chances of getting calls becomes higher right the hiring manager generally resume is your window to your hiring manager right because it is the first step in knowing a candidate so how should you tailor your resume to the best so that it suits you and it is not overhyped it is not underhyped but it represents you so that it actually connects the one who is reading your resume actually connects with you so it is all very important and if you talk about portfolio they are like your way of representing the whole thing you can put your github you can put your linkedin you can put your resume so all these things create very good impact to make you stand apart so the fifth thing that we will be covering is the common questions and the hot areas because if i'm also taking the interview there are few things there are few areas in data science or machine learning which i will be definitely gonna ask questions from right it can be from the data preparation part it can be from the analytics part but there are some hot areas where it's a must that you are going to be asked a question so what are those hot areas and how to identify those hot areas for your profile so in this fifth video we are going to talk about those hot areas where most of the questions come from and you don't want to miss that right you don't want to miss on those areas which you can already cover uh, like which can be very prepared for right so in this video we're going to talk about that then in the sixth video 
we are going to talk about how hackathons and contest affects your profile and if you want to begin giving contest online contest so how to start with them because contest and hackathons really improves your profile they can help you with like uh, companies really are spotting the talent in today's world using hacker earth and all these different websites analytics with their because they are they are like creating an environment where you can prove yourself beforehand right so how can you start with all these different different platforms so that you grow as far as with your knowledge and your networks and companies know about you right so these are the six important steps that we will be covering in the next six videos and after that there will be two more videos and the one would be my interview experience from samsung how i got from tcs to samsung right it was a big deal for me at that time uh, around two years back because someone from a service based industry and i started my role in tcs as an assistant system engineer then in samsung they gave me the role for machine learning engineer so it was a big deal for me and how did i prepare because i was like i was very well guided by my seniors and good people so i think it's really the need of the time that it should be shared among with you all so i will be sharing my interview experience of samsung and in the last video i will be sharing my interview experience of oracle where the profile was of senior data scientist which i am today so all these things will be a compact series of data science interview preparation and if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe it and if you are looking to learn more about data science how different uh, modules or complete structured course about data science you can visit my channel and you can start taking those courses and uh, let's begin from the next videos